Okay, does everybody remember this box? This is the box that I used to build my first pulse width modulator circuit in, and I decided with my new design that I would just reuse the same box rather than building building it in another project box because this is a an experimental device. So I still have my frequency dial indicator here, my duty cycle here, and this new one here, instead of a frequency range selector, uh, this is a current limiting adjustment, which will limit the pulse width duty cycle based on current going into the cell. So if peak current tries to exceed a certain value, the RMS current will roll back automatically based on the setting of this. Um, just a quick tour inside. This is the uh, let's see, what am I using here? I think a 20K potentiometer. Did I use 20K? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's 20K, and this one's 10K. This one down here is my 1K potentiometer, single turn. And this is the new printed circuit board. I guess that's about as good as I can get it to focus. Okay, on this side here, I've taken, I'm going to point it out with a pencil, um, I've taken and mounted the timing capacitor for the oscillator to a couple of terminals on the, on the PC board so that I can cha change it out if I like to at any time. And um, the range of frequency adjustment is from 1000 hertz to 10,000 hertz with this particular capacitor that I have in here. It's 0 0.03 microfarads. So that's it. This is what will be going into the car next. Um, plenty of room to stick this under the hood. Just set it down and, and make adjustments and, and drive. I'll also be using this on the bench for several tests. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, zero fossil fuel. I will see you in probably about a week.